We have two holidays to celebrate this week, both St. Patrick's Day and the first day of spring. So today's experiment is going to focus on both of those holidays. Here's what you're going to need. First off is some clear mason jars. You're going to want six jars. Next will be some food coloring and we're using primary colors. So red, blue, and yellow. Next up, you're going to need some paper towels. And finally, the last ingredient for this experiment is water. To set up this experiment, place your six jars in a circle with their edges touching. Next, put about 10 to 20 drops of food coloring in one jar each. Then fill these jars about three quarters full of water. So you should have a blue colored jar, a yellow colored jar, and a red colored jar. In between each colored jar, leave an empty one. Finally, take a piece of paper towel and fold it lengthwise in half twice. You'll want to do this with six paper towels. Take each paper towel and put one end in an empty jar and one end in a jar with water. Each jar should have two paper towel ends in them. And now we wait. Make a hypothesis of what you think is going to happen and why, and I'll be back in a few hours with the results. Fast forward a couple of hours and our paper towels have moved some of the water into the empty jars. We also have a nice rainbow of colors between the jars and on the paper towels. But how did water defy gravity and move through the paper towels? Well, it's through a process called capillary action, which is the rising or absorption of liquids through small gaps or holes in a material. This happens due to the forces of both cohesion and adhesion of the water overpowering gravity. So we were able to make a rainbow for St. Patrick's Day, but how does this experiment relate to spring? As plants start to bloom this season, they wouldn't be able to do so without capillary action. This process allows water to climb through the stems of plants, bringing essential nutrients to promote growth. Let me know if you do this experiment or if there's any other topics you want to see covered. For News 19, I'm Danielle Miller.